Hello, hello guys! Good evening and uh, we are back for the final day ng ating uh, Bedboom Dutch online stage and uh, lower bracket finals tayo. We'll be having uh, Nemiga Gaming up against Level Up. So, uh, whoever wins this series will be facing Nigma Galaxy for a best of 5 series para lang sa qualify sa ating main event. The opening pick Naga Siren, Silencer, Lion, para sa level up, still waiting for the fourth pick. Dark Seer, Phoenix, Spirit Baker, and then Razor naman for Nemiga. So, tignan natin kung uh, may na pa bang maganda magiging answer dito yung level up. They'll be dealing with Dark Seer, Spirit Breaker combination. And now, Queen of Pain will be picked by level up. Well, at least, uh, ando naman yung mobility na meron si Queen of Pain. Though for the lane stage, uh, might be an answer up against Razor if ever magkaroon tayo ng uh, Razor mid. Ayun lang naman yun. Para at least hindi magiging uh, troublesome for level up yung magiging mid lane hero nila. Kapag bigla naging mid lane yung Razor for Nemiga. Uy, shoutout nga po pala kay uh, Kuiz Azir. Yan. Shot po no? Nako, makatapos ko lang siya mat kagabi. Seconds. Five seconds. It is radiant span. Last ban on both sides. Ang inaantay natin ngayon. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. And then uh, there goes Mars for the uh, last ban ng uh, Nemega Gaming. Uh, level up naman, still waiting for the final ban. So uh, Juggernaut will be removed. Yeah, now for the last, uh, for the last pick, nung uh, level up dito. Offlane hero ata yung inahanap nila. Tignan natin kung sino pa yung makukuha nilang offlane position. Five seconds. Radiant's turn to pick. Timber saw! And there goes Timber. Wala lang sila yung parang ideal hero na mag-takedown talaga ng uh, Supernova. Pero at least, couple of, couple of range heroes yung available for level up. So, uh, might be doable still. Uh, for Timber, so I think ito yung pinaka-decent na pick na pwede makuha ng level up. Pwede rin siya up against Razor dahil meron naman siyang Timber Chain to uh, have a way para lang ma-disjoint yung Static Link. And the final pick, Slark for Nemiga. So, Razor mid it is. And we'll be having a Slark up against Timber. So, 50-50 match. 
But I do think Level Up has the uh, better draft for this game. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Level Up para sa ating uh, game 1. Mas gusto ko yung naging uh, overall draft nila dito. seconds five seconds remain So here we are for the game number one. Tips coming out for both sides. Tiga natin kung magkakano ba ng rematch yung Nemiga up against Nigma Galaxy. Actually, yung level up din palang na kalaban din nga palatun ng Nigma Galaxy. Well, at least yung level up na katuwan. Yun talagang tiget yung laban nila. Yung Nemiga, I don't know, hindi ko siya na cover. And um, two zero yung naging result. <laughs> My Thirty seconds to battle. Urge you nothing. Consider yourself warned. Ooh, a beautiful Earth Spike connecting onto two. And grabs the Bounder Rune, level up, securing three. Well, another Earth Spike connects. Roger Dita. Malalaba naman with the Far Spirit. So, uh, tamang hatakan lang naman ng wave para sa may uh, bottom lane. Hell Scream just doing his best para lang mahatak yung creep wave dito. Bazia is dropping low. Milan dito. Free hit up against the Dark Seer.
Well, Dark Seer is gonna be in trouble. Last word, Arcane Curse available. Trying to kill Milan first, but not gonna happen. Daxo gets the first blood. Nagasaya didn't play in the hostage cure. mga plasma plasma build lang naman para kay Malrin Cameraman? Anong ginagawa ng cameraman? Gusto ganito yung view? Bilas tayo dyan, boss! Saka lang, palitan natin yung camera natin. Solid. Worthy tribute. You didn't want that, did you? Hell Scream on top. Ayun lang, umabot pa yung Blood Grenade. So I think yung tick damage, mamamatay ata si Spirit Breaker. And yes, he will. No way. Saktong-sakto yung last tick ng Blood Grenade. Sobrang, sobrang clutch naman ng pagkaka-Blood Grenade. Water. Tamang normalan lang naman para sa bottom na inaction. Nice earth spike. So 3-0 para sa 5 minute game natin ngayon. Damalamang talaga yung level up pagdating sa lane stages. And now for Owned Me. Slowly getting his timings, his level. Once na makuha niya yung level 6, then mas lalo may ira pa na yung Nemiga to deal with this timber saw. Especially for the Slark. Mawawalan siya ng lane to farm. Now finally successfully uh, found someone. Roger. Will fall. Kill secured by Owned Me again. 4 0 na tayo dito. And for top lane, even though magisalan dito yung nagasaran, Vazia can't do anything. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Even healing Lotus mo huwa pang adi dun itaksao. Now, this will be the first rotation that we'll be seeing. A laser on top. With the Lishun rune, wala naman vision dito yung uh, level up. Nakaramdam lang talaga, pero it's Sweden strong. Finally, a kill secured for the side of Nemiga with the rotation from Lorno. Ano, rotation from Lorno, flash na naabutan pala dun. Oh, Slark, namatay pala Slark. 
So that's big for a level up. Slark is dead. Well, the Timber Cell will be taken out with a rotation from Malvin. Yeah, but Malvin naman dun yun na mga height pa pano. Spirit Breaker dead. And then same goes with Lion. At least si Sweden strong pa rin naman yung nakakuha ng tawag dun. Wisdom run. Yeah, actually, dalawang wisdom na secure pa rin ng level up. Sobrang worth nun. Dyer's bottom tower is no more. Dyer's top tower is in danger. Well, this time Daxao is gonna be in big trouble. Three heroes rotation for the side of Nemica will be able to take out the Nagasaran finally. Now, net worth wise, Razor is sitting on top. So, maganda yung nangyayari dito para sa Razor mid ng Nemica. Dyer's top tower is under attack. The first item choice will be Yasha para kay Malrin. Just using Eye of the Storm para lang makapag-farm na maayos sa jungle side. Mas mabilis din. Arkin rune secured for the Kyop. So, uh, ingat lang dito muna yung Nemiga. Level 5 still para kay Violent. He needs that level 6 para makapag-jungle na rin siya na maayos. Now, finally, level 6 available for the Slark. So 10 minutes in, wala pa rin naman objective na nakukuha dito yung magkabilang team. Still both sides were farming. Hand of Midas para sa first item choice ni Violent. But at least makapag-scale up talaga siya, makapag-farm naman siya ng uh, decent pagdating sa late game. Kailangan talaga nila ma-drag out kapag ganito yung itemization ng Slark. Since wala naman din na uh, plano pa dito yung Anemiga. So, uh, pwede naman mag-pay off tong Hand of Midas. Interesting uh, skill choice for the Timber. Wala siyang uh, any point ng kanyang uh, reactive armor. Top tower has been secured na pala para sa Nemiga squad. So that is huge. More map control given. Makapag-farm na sila na maayos sa may top lane. Meanwhile, for level up. Roger getting chased down by only. Pero disengage lang muna for the Timber so. Hindi naman niya pipilitin. Habulin pa dito yung uh, Phoenix. Well, actually, Sweden Strong has been found. Charge connects. Another strike into the Sunray. And that's it. Lion down.
So just an easy pick off for the side of Namega squad. Nice Hex, Spirit Baker caught, Hurt Spike for the follow-up, and Sayer coming in, Finger of Death, Hellscream still alive, and uh, finally will be taken out by Sweden Strong with the Black Grenade, going for the next target, they do find the Dark Seer out position, Sweden Strong needs to be careful, the Iron Shell over the Dilutions, but a Mana Drain lang yung magiging answer for Sweden Strong, and he'll live, and two down for the side of Nemegus. We shout out nga po pala kay Brady. Optional uh, illuminate niya. Shout out po. Good evening and uh, welcome sa ating stream boss. Well, Timberzaw was taken out. First agility. Na makakuha dito ng Slark. Yeah, at least na uh, nagiging, uh, I mean, nai-involve naman siya dun sa mga ganong uh, pick-off. Nag, uh, nag uh, hand of minus din naman dito yung nagasa rin. So, para sa lang uh, magka-farm lang talaga muna. Song to grab the wisdom rune. Oh no, not again. Wisdom rune secured for level up. Na contest na naman. Well, dahil dyan, tumataas yung mga levels dito, especially ng mga support for uh, level up. Ang nagiging decent naman. Pero sa side naman ng Nemega, at least yung support players nila, or support heroes nila, they could farm sa jungle, especially uh, Phoenix. Na hand of mindless nga dito si Roger, mayaman niya man na Phoenix to. Almost same na siya ng net worth ng uh, Timber, so. So, he's doing a fantastic job as a position 5 hero. Amanda style para sa first item choice ni Malvin since uh, merong uh, silencer di ba para at least merong uh, pan dispel sa insayer sa global silence or even sa shadow strike There is little hope for Radiant's middle tower. Yeah, medyo passive lang talaga nangyayari for this game 1 pero for Nebega it's paying off dahil sila pa rin yung lumalamang naman dito 2 3 2 3 k na yung uh, kalamangan ng uh, Nebega screaming and there goes Hell Scream over the cup Lorne up they have the wall, they have the vacuum, just holding you in place, but are not gonna be enough. Namatay pa rin naman dun yung Spirit Baker under in Sierra for the Dark Seer. Ah, but yung Twins Gate, no. Kala ko siya yung nag-Twins Gate, Sweden's sweet and strong pala yun. And that's gonna be another hero down. Again, ito lang, same area kung saan namatay yung uh, Spirit Baker and Dark Seer kanina. Well, Razor Manta style is available. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, double damage. Nadinay naman dito ni Milan. Good job. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Radiant's top tower is in danger. Oh, there goes the global silence and uh, over to the Phoenix. Phoenix is in trouble. Couple of right clicks and down he goes. Now for the Yanaga Talent, they found another target. Support hero down for the side of Nemega Gaming. But the Sweet and Strong will be taken out as well. Marlin is running fast and they have the Slark joining the fight. But the Sonic Wave will be able to take out the Razor. Slark pops his ultimate. Might be looking for the Darkster instead. 
Surge out, running away. Hindi na siya abutan ng Encer ni Taxiao. And that will be it. 2 for 3 trade. Slark's gonna be safe right here. But I'm still in favor of level up. Yung trade na yan. Nice charge. Gonna paint dead. So 18 minutes, 1k for the side of Nemiga. And Slark slowly catching up. Now he has the Echo Saber into the Defusal Blade. And the bag na ito for the next team fight. At least under the impact of the Slark once this Defusal is up. We shout out nga kay Harold Albeos from Cebu. Sino namang sa late game boss? Late game timings, I think. Same lang sila. May hirap. Uh, parang ang hirap isipin kung sino yung magkakaroon ng advantage for the late game. Wala naman sila yung parang totally na counter ng sobra sa mga heroes. Hindi ah, rin ako sure. Piling ko 50-50 pa rin to. Hanggang late game. Pagalingan na lang talaga sa mga decision or sa team fights. Amilan dito has been caught by Violent. Now the Earth Spike. Global Silence. Queen of Pain blinks in forward. And the Finger of Death. Slark is down. A beautiful uh, pick up for the side of Level Up. Nice reaction for the Lion. Saktong sakto. Illusion na secured pa rin ba? No, na-deny naman ni Malorin. Will he pay for his life though? That's the question. Static link over to the timber. And uh, building up the damage. Own me. Needs to be careful. He'll be fine. The Sonic Wave connects on the two. Razor getting healed up by the Sanri from Roger. And now for the Darkseer. Not gonna be lucky enough to run. The Inter will be able to hold him in place. And takes him out. Make it 3 dead for the side of Nemiga. Inabot pa rin pala yung Spirit Breaker and a potential objective to secure for level up. Opening up this mid lane tower. Yeah, medyo nakabawi din yung level up. Now they are up 3k lead. And we'll be having a pause.
first top tower is under attack. Dyer are scanning for enemies. Go back to the game. Oh, interesting. I mean, for the Queen of Pain, hindi na siya yung mag a So, uh, first, hindi siya kyop na back to the old school build. Yung Kaya Sanj, Witchblade, yan. Kasi, nung mga nakaraang uh, patch, puro Ags yung approach talaga sa Queen of Pain. Tignan natin kung ito yung uh, right call for this uh, hero. I think decent naman siya. Now, with Heart of Taras available para sa Nagasaran, it's Roche time. So, di na siya nag-bothered kumuha ng Orchid, no? Parang... Oh, I love this. Ang galing na mga ganitong, ano, anticipation. Yung tipong, alam nilang papunta na yung Nemega. And mag-i-smoke din sila dito, just getting in position. Well, tinituloy pa rin naman na erosion ba? Hindi naman pala. Yeah, Surge, Malrin, and Sayer over to the Dark Seer. Charge on its way. The Doofans fans within strong. That's gonna be a support hero to fall. Global Silence committed, but it was too late. Lion goes down. The Supernova will be destroyed also. And into the song. So to set things up, Sonic Wave connects on the three. A beautiful one. Lark will be destroyed. And now for the Spirit Baker, there's nowhere to run. Malin doesn't have his BKB anymore. He's just trying to kill the support hero before he falls. He'll be able to do it, but they've lost four already for the side of Nemiga. Darkseer is the only one left. And this should be Roshan for the side of Level Up. Grand Finals, no, no, no. Lower bracket finals pala tayo, boss. Mamaya yung Grand Finals natin after this. Kasi naman manalo dito will be facing Nigma Galaxy. So yeah, the cover naman ni Ate Sherry yan. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Well, medyo matagal na Tormentor to. Di ko alam ba't anong binagawa nila. Dalawa lang sila nag-Tormentor. And dumaasa lang sila sa Iron Shell damage. Wala to na. Suddenly, four heroes. Not the most ideal shard na pwedeng makuha for na Mega Side. Planner Packet. I mean, uh, mas gusto nila makuha sana is yung sa Phoenix. Now, for level up side, they're closing in for the butterfly timing ng ating Nagasaran. Well, actually, mag-aaganims pa rin naman yung Queen of Pain. Sadyang nag-iba lang yung uh, mga first key items dyan dito. Even for which played Kaya Sanj, ngayon pa lang siya mag-ags. Usually, nagkita natin is straight ags or second item ags. Hindi naman siya BGB game. So, no need. For BGB, status resistance na lang talaga. Sapat na yan. Is under Butterfly is available. Tingnan natin kung anong makukuha dito. Nang level up sa ganitong timings nila. Sobrang lakas nila ngayon. With this Aegis available para sa Kyop. And then available na yung tricky items ng Naga Siren. Good luck! Never even I'm, not, I'm not even sure kung kaya ba nilang patayin yung nagasaran dito. Maybe if he's alone, uh, that's very doable. Pero kung... Uh, may kasama yung nagasaran, parang ang hirap. Razor is going for Regents. I love this itemization. 
Lalo na sa recent changes ng mga regions, Milner, yung mga ganun. Pang uh, deal na talaga sila ng illusions. And na nagasaran, yeah, yung mga illusions sa uh, hero, talagang ayaw nila ng meron mga evasion. Since uh, hindi naman sila MKB carrier. So, mapipilita, na, mapipilita pa siya dito malamang mag-bloodthorn, uh, ganong item. Which is ang daing pang dispel ng uh, race or up against bloodthorn. Hellscream dito, makakapag-disengage uh, pa rin naman thanks to the surge. Vacuum will be able to catch Milan. Milan mandalaban. Global silence committed. Roger is in big trouble. He got bursted down as quickly as that. The finger of death into the whirling death. Lahat may death. And three finger of that charge para sa lion. Well, the dude found the Queen of Pain still has an Aegis though for 50 seconds. So, matagal tagal pa yan, and the uh, Lion will be the one to fall instead. Pero yung uh, third tower on middle makukuha naman dito ng level up. Buti nga na nerf na, I mean, natanggal na yung uh, Dragon Scale sa Illusion, di ba? Kasakaling available, gumagana pa rin yung delikado. Shoutout nga pala kay Jeffrey Manalo. Ooh, Queen of Pain is dead. Now for the second life, Dax Chow is coming in. Nicely timed for the Supernova Impact. Lornoff will be saved by the song. Oh no, ang ganda sana na pagkaka-Supernova ni Roger. Actually, na-impressed na out na. I mean, na-timingan na niya. Saktong sakto. But Timber... Not sure kung bakit andun pa rin siya. But now, that's gonna be Nemiga's time to grab the next target. Milan, charge coming in. Global silence has been committed. I'm not even sure why. But that's gonna be a two heroes dead for the side of level up. So medyo nakahinga dun yung Nemiga. So going for Silver Edge para sa Naga Siren. Um, ano ba to? Parang pang reposition yun lang eh. Wala naman siya mag ideal na mabe break. Siguro yung Slark <laughs> yung pangkuan ng uh, stats. So game is not yet over. is napigilan sila ng Nemega, di ba? Kasi magtutuloy-tuloy na dapat dito yung level up. And uh, now they have this regions available. Meron na ba silang MKB sa Slark? Actually wala pa rin. So wala pa rin silang way to deal with the evasion na meron yung uh, Slark dito. Level 20 talent available na rin sa Queen of Pain. Does have his eggs. Now just sending out the illusions after illusions to zone them out. 
trying to pressure them. Roshan, tignan natin kung mabilis bang uh, mag respond Oh, a 5 minutes more play for the side of uh, Nemiga. A wraparound play it is. Should be good. Silencer yung pwede lang uh, maabot. No, the Timber is gonna be the one in front. And Global Silence committed. Pops the Manta style immediately for the Razor. Backing off, disengage for Nemiga. And as for the Slark, violent, just getting violent right now. Over to the Silencer. Pops the Ghost Scepter. But they have something to remove it. And the charge to connect. There goes the Sun Ray, but the Song will be able to stop them from killing off the Silencer. Just trying to disengage with Shard Upgrade to heal him up. Milan is back to half HP, but there goes the Earth Spike. Will do the turn, but it won't matter. They managed to take out Roger, who flies back immediately. Violent Dito will get bursted down, but it's on a wave. A big kill secured. Silencer down finally, but Ownby is just looking for Hell Scream. The Chakram not gonna be on point. He might be able to charge his way out here. There's nothing left for them to catch him. Hell Scream should be fine, but a Slark is dead for 48 seconds without any buyback. Tigan natin kung magagawa dito for level up. Just a big Roshan for the side of level up. Yeah, mananaga sayari. Well, there goes the smoke play for Namiga. Tigan natin. Kung uh, tama ba tong naisipan nila. After claiming Aegis and Cheese for level up, so subukan lumaban ng Namiga dito. Now again, just going for a wraparound play. They need some vision, information. It is daytime. The plasma field will be able to scout out by Milan. And he'll force up his way out here. And now Malin Dito gonna pop the Manta style. Disengage Muna para kay Malin. Lotus Orb will be able to protect him for a while. Own me. Just trying to provide vision for his teammates. Scouting them out. Violent is hiding inside the trees. But Roger, he's been spotted. Dives out immediately for the Phoenix. And now Violent just going over for the Timber. But the defensive mules is available. The charge to connect. But there goes the song. Interrupting this fight for now. And Sarah, Spirit Baker, will be the first target choice. They have the Earth Spike, the Sonic Wave. They managed to take out the Phoenix in time. Same goes to the Dark Seer. Two heroes dead. The Death Shot won't be enough to keep those two heroes alive. And Hellscream Dito running away with the charge once more. Another win for the side of Level Up. But at least, hindi naman namatay yung Slark. Hindi naman namatay yung Razor. But the main concern right now is Level Up is approaching the high ground once more. Third tower for the bot lane, makukuha nila dito. Same goes with the set of racks. Without these two heroes, sobrang hira for Nemiga to actually take this fight. So going for the pressure orb para sa Razor. So two set of racks down and they are going for Megas. Buhang mapipigilan naman sila dito ng Nemega but they still have Aegis and Chiefs available pa rin naman para sa level up. And uh, what are we waiting for for Nemega squad? BKB para sa Slark? Okay.
coin for me. the field. Range Rax makukuha na nga dito ng level up. They're going for the next one. Minirax dito. The only one left to get the Mega secured. But a bit of pain. Just getting killed by Violent. And down goes the Kyop. Does have the Aegis for his second life. Diretso pa rin naman dito yung level up from taking this objective. And now another charge. Control given. Trying to kill Lauren off, no. Not pag blink out, pa rin naman dito yung Queen of Pain. Does have his BKB if needed. He's going for Octaline Core for his next item choice. Tamang Shadow Strike, Shadow Strike na naman para sa Queen of Pain. So nag ingat na naman dito yung uh, level up. Twenty k lead. Na wala pa rin ako nakikita ang MKB Para lang sa evasion ng Nagasaren Baka hindi na lang nila I mean, Wala na siguro silang planong i-address Yung evasion ng Nagasaren dito So owned me Queuing up shard Para lang sa pag take Sa pan take down ng uh, Rax siguro May DPS naman yan And ninja gear makukuha na nga ng silencer So ito napakaganda na itong uh, neutral item One of the best tier for items Hindi dahil sa stats na pinaprovide Dahil dun sa ability niya na Meron kang libre mo So mas nakakaposition, nakakaposition ka ng maayos Kahit uh, support hero ka lang Diba? Ganun Ito sobrang halaga na ng positioning dito eh. Yung hindi ka ma-reveal agad. Ang laking bagay na nun eh sa mga team fight pagdating sa late game. Then para sa mga support din, di ba? Lalo na yung mga nag-award. Pwede ka mag-ninja gear. Then tamang uh, hanap ka ng pwedeng paglapagan ng wards. Children makukuha na nga ni Lornop dito. Still level 23, wala pa naman 25 talent. Para sa blink cooldown, small play for Nemega squad. Tignan natin kung uh, meron ba silang uh, abutan dito. Uh, but someone needs to defend this Milrax on top. Ganun ganun lang, mapapauwi na dito yung Nemega. Kailangan nila mag-defend. So, uh, alam na agad ng level up dito yung position nila and uh, I think may idea na sila na nag-smoke yung Nemega. Razor line nagpapakita na nag-defend kanina pa. Daxao Well, a good thing Saktong sakto yung dark pack Ni uh, Violent dun The bounce will also connect Pero out of range na rin niya Yung Lion Meron rin glimmer yung cape So wala naman siyang detection
42 minutes and uh, wala pa rin naman nangyayari. Nagka-farm na naman yung magkabilang team. Third Roshan is available. So might be the next uh, objective para sa level up. I'm not sure for Nemega kung kaya ba nalang i-contest pa yung Roshan dito since uh, one melee racks na lang sila. Parang ang hirap na neto for Nemega. For the Razor, Refresher Orb is available. Double Eye of the Storm. Possible na yan. Double BKB. Now, Spirit Baker, uh, available naman yung kanyang bulldoze, but still will fall. Slark over to the next target, gonna pop the song for Daxiao. Buyback for the Spirit Baker, and disengage completely for level up. That's it. Nagawa na rin, ginawa na rin, napatay na rin Spirit Baker, na force out pa yung buyback. There's no, no reason para lang magstay pa yung level up dun. So, 25 talent available now for Queen of Pain. So, under yung blink cooldown. Bring cold on make a Yep. So uh, Roshan, Aganim's blessing is included. Dick sure kung kanina maganda ibigay yung ags, maybe sa timber so not sure about Naga Siren. Parang Dire man ganun ka high value yung Aganim scepter niya. Pinin ko sa timber na lang, reactive armor. And now Namiga will be the one trying to get Roshan or trying to catch someone. Namaga Roshan for the side of level up. Kaso nga lang, wala sila dun. Ngayon pa lang papunta yung level up. And they need to defend. Our Roger still staying. Together with the Slark, Malrin will be showing himself. Doesn't have any teleportation, so... Without Razor, Nemega disengage. Global Silence over to the Phoenix, and he's dead. So here they go. Third Roshan, mahuhuwa naman dito ng, uh, ng level up for sure. So now, Aghanim's Gat will be given to the Timber. Side of Vice for the next item choice in Queen of Pain. Speaking of Queen of Pain, uh, it's been caught by Violent. 12 Essence Ships stolen. We know who was in this Lark. Well, hang on. Spirit Breaker, die back in Spirit Breaker, yun lang. Hell Scream. He is down. And the uh, Aghanim is blessing na palang Naga Siren. Kaya pa nag ito, but naka insert siya ng may BKB. So may Ags na yung Naga Siren. Sa so, sobrang yaman niya, may Aghanim is blessing niya. Moonshard na lang siguro rin. Bipi rin niya dito. But the team 5 broke scene. Violent dito with a BKB. The Sonic will be able to push him back. Vacuum on to 3 heroes. A beautiful one. Song will be popped out. Not gonna be enough to save the silencer. Queen of Pain for his second life. Blinks away. Back to safety. Repositioning themselves. And now over to Violent. He'll be able to run with his uh, bounce. So uh, trying to continue this chase. Over to Vasya. Blinks in forward for Lornop, takes out the Darkseer, Razor will definitely fall also, that's 3 dead, buyback immediately for Razor, Darkseer has his, and will be using it right now. Now there goes Violent, over the Timber, they've lost the Phoenix as well, 2 supports down for the side of Namega squad, and the Naga Siren will be continuing to push this tier, uh, with this uh, Milorax on top lane. Malrain has been caught, Earth Spike? May Earth Spike talent? Tama ba? Hindi ko na napansin yun, but the Razor, tie back for the Razor. This might be the game, and that's it. GG has been called. Game is over. May talent pala. Ayun, no? Yung cone level 20 talent na Earth Spike. Nagwet ako, ba't ganun yung Earth Spike? Hindi ko na nakita yun, para sa Dayan. And uh, ang kit lang ng uh, tignan. Pero what a performance para sa level up. Ang ganda nung uh, pinakita nila dito. Uh, just a strong performance dun sa early up to end game.
Malinis eh. Medyo malinis yung laro ng uh, level up eh. Lane stage. Yes, lumamang sila. Nagkaroon lang tayo ng medyo passive na lane stage dahil parehong uh, gusto mag-farm lang muna dito na magkabi ng team. Pero after na mag-start uh, yung mga rotation, team fights, doon na nag-shine yung level up. Parang nag nawala yung uh, laser, dark seer, kung gaano sila ka-effective. Yung Slark din, parang di mo rin random ng mga mid-game stages. Lagi siya namamatay. Talagang dali niya ma-burst down. So, hindi ganun ka-safe yung Slark sa game na to. Kaya nahirapan talaga totally yung Nemiga para magkaroon ng recovery. Well, that's it for the game 1. Magbabalik pa naman tayo for the game 2 after the short break. Thanks so much for watching guys and be right back tayo.